with us tonight. We have some amazing things happening here in the Mystery Show, and we are going to start things off with a bang. <laughs> to deal with that, to not be mad in traffic anymore. Uh, so I'll share it with you guys in case you ever want to do it. Uh, whenever I'm stuck in really bad traffic, I just imagine if I got to the place I'm going early, I would be murdered. All of a sudden, little traffic's not so bad. As <laughs> yelling at the people in the fast lane, like, ah, oh, what's your hurry? Only death awaits. <laughs> Only death awaits for us all. Um, is there, let me ask you, is, is there anything worse than like a really unique insult, you know? Like, I, I'm a man who gets made fun of very regularly. Uh, usually it doesn't bother me because it's always just some dumb thing like some like jock guy just kind of being like, oh, check out that nerd. Like, ah, oh, whatever. Heard that before. Uh, but whenever someone gives you like a really unique insult, you know, it just really hurts a lot more. Like, I, I was at this party uh, and this guy just looked over at me and he goes, check out that sad little toad. <laughs> Like, nothing has ever hurt worse than before in my life. I was like, oh my god, like, this guy must really hate me to put so much effort into that insult. Like, he looked into my soul, found out what depressed animal I was. <laughs> and, like, worse, it wasn't even like a mammal, that's like how bad it was, too. Like, it was like amphibian level of sadness. And, not, uh, uh, not everything's so bad, though. We've got, uh, got some good stuff going on. i perfected online dating. That's pretty exciting. I've perfected online dating. Uh, I've been on some web websites, uh, but I was always having trouble, like, talking and uh, sending out that, in like, initial message, you know, because I never know, like, what the first thing I should say to a girl would be. Uh, then I found out the best thing you can ever say, which is, um, if I see a girl, like, I'll send her a message and I say, Hey, got any good ghost stories? <laughs> now, so far, this has gotten me a total of zero dates, but I have received several good ghost stories. <laughs> And what else do you want out of a relationship, you know? 
And I sent this one girl this message. I was like, hey, you got any good ghost stories? And then she sent me a message back. She goes, I don't know. Does going to a haunted college count as a good ghost story? And I was like, yes, it does. Obviously, that's, that's a very good ghost story. Uh, so can you elaborate? Like, did you ever see anything? And uh, she goes, no, but there's a lot of spooky paintings on the wall. I was like, oh, thank you so much for giving me the blue balls equivalent of a ghost story. That was, that was awesome. Um, I was going to do one last thing for you guys and I get out of here. Uh, of course, uh, as I like to end my sets, I like to talk about Zeus. You guys, uh, you guys know about Zeus? Uh, I, I'm a big fan of like, Greek and Roman mythology. Uh, and I was looking up some stories about those old crazy Greek gods. And uh, I, I was especially interested in the character of Zeus. You know, he's the king of the gods. And uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but he's kind of a ladies' man. Likes to come down to earth, have sex with uh, mortal female women. Uh, but the interesting thing is, he'll do it as an animal. Like, he'll turn himself into a swan or a bull, and then, like, seduce an earth woman. <laughs> but you, you gotta wonder, why would a guy do that? Is it the challenge? You know? Is he up there at old Mount Olympus just like, you know, checking out some girls? And like Apollo, you know, he's just hanging out with them. And Zeus is like, oh, hey, check out that little number down there. You think I got a shot with him? And Apollo's like, no, no way, man. He's like, oh, you don't think I, Zeus, king of the gods, could get with her? Well, I'll tell you what, not only will I have sex with her, but I'll do it as a swan. But God, hey. <laughs> This goes down there. The, uh, the best part about that is that I like to imagine that when that happened, you know, the sure it happened. Um, but it wouldn't be in the Bible if it didn't happen. Uh, <laughs> you know, like you know when that happened, there was like some 300 BC version of Tim Bark Woolish that like saw the whole thing and was just like. Oh man, she's dating a swan? <laughs> she told me she wasn't looking for anyone. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much.